So some of you have mentioned that Art Advantage rice paper is no longer available. Oh, I'm just as upset about it as you are. Well, let's talk about it. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to try out some alternatives. I had purchased a couple of these some time ago and then just never had any. I just didn't have any time to play with them and see if I like them as, you know, papers on the plate because some papers just don't pick up well. And I was very, very partial to the Art Advantage because I really liked the... Um, smooth side. You could tell it was rice paper, but it wasn't highly textured, uh, even on the rough side. So some other rice papers are not as smooth as Art Advantage, and I and some are very heavy and some are very light. So anyway, we're going to play with a couple of alternatives today, three alternatives, and see which ones pick up well. Let's get started. Okay, welcome back friends. So we are going to talk today about rice paper. Now I, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know, you know that I like Art Advantage rice paper. That's this one here. I don't have the, um, the cover sheet that comes in the package with it anymore, I don't think. You, right now it's out of stock and they don't know when they're going to get it back in. And I really like it because you don't really see any any textures or lines or anything. It's just a really fine rice paper. This side is very, very smooth and picks up picks up really well. This other paper that I got, that's, that's from this company. I think it's this one. I think this says it's 100 pounds. I'm not really sure. Don't know what that means. Um, I will look it up on Amazon and tell you the exact weights of things, but these are both thinner than the Art Advantage. I actually might like that. The only thing that I don't like, and I don't know if you can see this, I'm going to try to bring it close, see if it'll focus on it. It has like, like I almost can see lines going this way and fine lines going this way. Don't know if it's going to matter. Probably not since we're covering it with paint. Same thing with this one. I'm seeing lines. Um, well, we're going to test both of these today because these you can get on Amazon. I also have a, uh, this is a 12 by 18. I'm going to use my big plate today. We're going to use a 9 by 12. I abandoned this paper. This was something I got early on because it was recommended by, probably by Elizabeth St. Hilaire. I'm not sure who it was. It's not as smooth as the first thing that I noticed from the Arts of Art Advantage. It's not as smooth. The paper's a little thicker, slightly thicker, and um, I didn't like it. I was having trouble uh, in the very beginning using this, but I'm going to use it today. We're going to use, well, I still have some Art Advantage, so we're going to use um, that anyway, because maybe it'll come back in stock. But in the meantime, maybe one of these other two... Uh, would be good solutions and also you might like this paper um, always don't don't listen to us here on YouTube everybody's an individual here what one person absolutely loves another person hates you need to decide for yourself they do have this in a smaller pack I bought the 12 by 18 don't know why I bought such a big pack I also find this paper to be more expensive you only get 48 sheets um, I I'm not exactly sure how many sheets are in here, but I know it's more than 48. It's a lot of sheets. So you get more for your money. This pack had the most sheets, and this one looks like it's about half as many sheets. And none of it is in English, so I cannot, I cannot tell. Well, we'll look on, we'll look on Amazon. Let's go do that now. All right, so here's the Yasutomo paper. It is 9 by 12. You get 48 sheets for $11.89. And it says it's a watercolor finish. So that's probably why it's not as smooth as the other papers. Um, nowhere does it tell me the weight of the paper. On this one, this is the blue and white packaging. It says it's Japanese 
Sumi paper. Uh, it's nine and a half by 13 and you get 70 sheets per pack for $7 and 50 cents. And then on this one, it's also Japanese calligraphy rice paper for Sumi inks. And it says it's good for um, ink stamping and you get a hundred sheets. So that's what that symbol down there meant. You get a hundred sheets for seven ninety nine. All right, so today we're gonna we're gonna do some gel printing. We're gonna make some textures. We're gonna use some stencils, and we're gonna use these three papers. And then at the end, I will use my Art Advantage paper. And in between, I might use a little deli paper, just because my my technique usually includes lifting at some point with some deli paper. And then the final pickup is with the rice paper. So to start with, I'm gonna do this pack here. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna start with this one. Um, I, like I said, I will link everything below. I'm gonna pull out just a couple of these sheets. We're gonna do simple prints because we're just testing. Uh, let's, let's mix these two together. Let's even put some white. I don't want to mix it, mix it too good. I like a nice mess and variation in color. Look, I get my hair. I must have got hair. Jeez. Leave me a comment below if you put, if your hair ends up on the plate. My hair always ends up on the plate. And even though this was clean, these black, this brand of brayer sometimes gets me these gets me these lines. I like the speedball brayer best. That one is not clean right now. Okay, so let's see how it picks up through. And you'll see it's almost a nine. It's, this paper's bigger than the nine by 12 plate as well. I think this paper's the same size as the Art Advantage. Oh, I have two sheets under here. No wonder it wasn't looking like it was. Okay, so it's nice and thin. I think thinner papers are easier to work with in terms of really getting into all of these um, small spots within the stencil. Oh, see the paper tore. Oh, that never happens with Art Advantage. Never. Oh, geez. All right, so I'm already seeing that I don't like this paper. That's disappointing. This part didn't tear. It just didn't pick up. Same thing with right here, it didn't pick up. Okay, let's see how the ghost picks up. Let's pick this up with some white. Let's just do a very simple pick up. It wasn't completely dry, so it's blurring a little. You can see that it's blending with the white. That's nice. I don't always mind that. All right, so we're going to take our other sheet, smooth side down. So maybe the paper is just a little too thin. All right, I'm gonna leave it. It's feeling very damp. I'm gonna leave it like a minute. It's feeling dry, almost a little bit damp. Hmm. Nope, it is not 
not doing a great job as you can see oh wow that's really bad <sighs> yeah this paper cannot hold up to the moisture of the acrylic paint all right so we know that this is not good Jeez, that was bad okay i hope the other one is a little better than this i think the other one is a little bit tiny bit thicker um but we are going to just abandon this one because the paper just stays on the plate i'm going to try to get some of this off We'll just, I do not think for a minute that um, the other rice paper is going to clean that up. So I'm going to clean this up with a piece of copy paper. I don't want to waste my precious hard advantage. I need that to last me until it's back in stock. Um, boy, I wish we knew if it was ever going to be back in stock or if it's been discontinued. If anybody has heard anything, please let me know. Please use just one. We'll have to use two of these because I is eight and a half by 11 paper. That's a shame we have to use two, but. And I'm gonna leave this for like three minutes maybe. Make sure I really get all of that paper off. I could have taken the time to pull out the baby wipes and hand sanitizer and do a whole cleaning, but I don't want to do that. So, because then we'll have an oily plate. <laughs> okay, so just to refresh your memory, that was this one. This is, a, this is no good. I'll have to use it for something else. All right, we're going to try this one next. And it's slightly thicker, very like you could barely tell though. So something tells me we're going to get the same lousy results. I'm just going to take two sheets out. Okay, so I, I pulled out some baby wipes and hand sanitizer and got most of the um, the stuff that was left on the plate at least on the top side what you're seeing is mostly on the underside okay so we're going to do pretty much the same thing that way we have a fair comparison here and so I'm again starting with quinacridone red the Hansa yellow and a little bit of white some sloppy mixing So I don't know why I didn't do that bottom right corner, but I kind of missed it. Okay, so let's see so how this see, paper size goes. wise. About the same size. So I take back my statement about the thinner the better. Obviously not. Too thin. It, your paper just falls apart and I suspect because this almost looks identical uh, instead of lines I'm seeing dots but there is like a fine line that's going like every about that far apart a little bit more than an inch something about the manufacturing process but you know, let's see this one might be a little bit better because it is slightly thicker it looks like it's holding up. Okay. That held up. All right, so let's see if it can pick up the ghost without completely falling apart. Again, we're going to use just the white. Sorry, I'm not getting too creative today just trying to find you guys a 
replacement for the rice paper. I'm doing the testing for you. Okay, so again, face down, smooth side down. And you know, they felt the same, they kind of looked the same, but the other one didn't hold up to gel plate. So, and we'll see with this one, we're gonna let it dry till it doesn't feel wet and cool anymore. Now, that was only like a little bit more than a minute last time. Okay, so again, it's one minute, We're doing it just like last time. One minute. And this paper is picking up very well and leaving me with a clean plate. Nice. Okay, this paper's a winner. So this one is actually the one that has the larger amount of sheets. And from what I can see, I mean, it's paint. So um, that texture that I was seeing on the paper, is it's not coming through. It's, it picked up really well. All right, now let's try this big giant one. <laughs> like I said, I maybe I can cut this in half. Will it still fit? Almost. I don't know why I bought something so big. So we need two sheets, so I'm just going to fold this over and cut it down the middle. And my hair's falling out today. Okay, again. Okay, this is the smooth side. That's the side we're going to use. Let's see how it fits on the plate. And this is kind of exactly, yeah, cut in half, fits on the plate. Anyway, I just need to make sure I'm going to have them off on the side, right side up. I'm going to do the same thing again. So I think it's best to, to compare with the same thing, you know, the same paint, um, the same, you know, stencil, just to get, you know, apples to apples comparison here. So um, that's why I'm, I'm doing the same thing over and over again. This one on the left, I don't have on my website yet. I have to cut a clean one and photograph it and do all of that, and then I can put it up on the site. I, somebody pointed that out to me, and I've just been so overwhelmed with too many projects, plus summer vacation, just too much going on. This week I will try to get it up there. So. By the time I post this, maybe it will be there. I'll try to remember to bring in a clean stencil so I can photograph the packaging and all that and get it up on my website this week. Because I think it's a fun one. up nice and we'll see how the ghost goes so I will have all these links below because I know you're all desperate to find a replacement and for many of us the easiest thing to do is Amazon I don't know about you but when I go to the art supply store I don't really see a great um, rice paper selection you know I'm no longer living in New York where we have great art supply stores 
I mean, down here is not too bad. We have Blick, and they're moving to a bigger location. So I'm very happy about that. That means they're going to have more in stock right in the store. And we have a Jerry's Art Arama, but it's a little far from my studio. But if I absolutely can make a special trip, I will. But I still do not find, they're great for canvas and wood panels, um, not necessarily for rice papers, at least in my experience, the type of papers I'm looking for. This is kind of interesting is happening right here. Anyway, we're gonna, so this is definitely thicker, thicker than the Art Advantage. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about collaging with it. I'll have to test that as well. This I know I'm going to want to collage with because it's thin. It's thin and beautiful and it picked up nicely. So for me, in my opinion, this one is going to be the winner, I think. Let's see how this looks. This also looks really nice. So at least I have both of these papers in house right now. I don't have to worry about it for a little while. I will share, I think there's a nine by 12 um, version of this paper, the Yasumoto, I think that's how you pronounce it. Yasutomo, excuse me, excuse me, <laughs> Yasutomo. Um, yeah, this is a, the only reason why it looks whiter is because probably the ghost was a little drier. On this one, it was really mixing and smearing. I, I don't dislike that. You know what I mean? Uh, usually when I'm picking up a ghost like this, I don't wait for it to completely dry because I kind of want that background, that pickup color to blend a little bit with it. But here it didn't blend as much. Probably my ghost was drier. Anyway, they, these two are very good papers so I'm wrong about the Yasutomo that's uh, pretty good I'm just not sure how I'm gonna like um, collaging with it so that will be my next test okay so <laughs> that was surprising I didn't think that the uh, Yasumo, Yasutomo, Yasutomo um, was gonna be one that I actually liked because way, way back, like, I don't know, a couple of years ago when I was first starting with the gel plate, I did not like it, but it could have been the paint I was using at the time. I don't know. Um, I wasn't very good. At, I, you know, I wasn't very good at it back then. And that particular paper frustrated me. Then I found the art advantage and I never looked back, but now we can't get that. So that actually turned out to be good. It is a little thicker than I'm used to haven't collaged with it yet that's really going to be the deal breaker the other paper that I that I liked is thin so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like that on on the uh, collage side of things so I hope that you enjoyed this video and that I did some of the work for you so that you don't have to and um, I'll put the links below because I know how frustrating it can be when you really like using something and it's suddenly gone. Thank you for watching and please don't forget, create, inspire, and share. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.